Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology we are here with a very 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 interesting topic which i have discussed before but here it is once again it's very important for us to understand some symptoms of a bad or an afflicted planet okay now these are not some astrological uh, parameters you know like for example exaltation debilitation these are some real life uh, practical uh, symptoms which are very uh, visible in a person when you interact with uh, him or her so uh, if you see uh, multiple of these symptoms uh, then you know that this um, planet uh, in this case jupiter is not very well placed okay and of course uh, again the disclaimer not just don't see one or two and say you know if four or five of these are visible uh, then you know that jupiter is not very well placed irrespective of the fact that it is exalted or in multi cone you know there's some problem or the other it is afflicted uh, even if it is well placed it will be afflicted or it is badly placed in the d9 or the lagnesh and the jupiter are not in harmony or the ninth lord is not well placed you know so <clears throat> even if you see that uh, there are good place that, that jupiter is well placed but uh, these symptoms are manifesting then there is something which we are not able to identify in the chart which is uh, finally culminating into a very bad jupiter okay so all right so what are the top symptoms of a bad or afflicted jupiter let's begin uh, what do you think in your opinion is the first symptom and by the way these are uh, posts which i had made in my instagram page like uh, two three months back so if you have not followed it then please uh, you can find the link down in the description section and as usual if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it and hit the thumbs up if you like this video and if you want a consultation my web page is also down below in the description section and because we are talking of jupiter we must i must say today god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him all right what is the first 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 symptom it is this is gold oops i'll change this to single page okay firm belief that matter is all that exists hmm there's absolutely no enquiry about god and spirit the vedanta sutra says athato brahma jigyasa which means oh living being oh so and so get up oh human being get up and enquire about the higher truth if somebody believes that what they are seeing hearing understanding uh, which is the material world if somebody firmly believes that this is all that exists there's no reality beyond uh, this there is no concept of spirit uh, there is no uh, supreme controller uh, then uh, well uh, we we can understand that jupiter is very badly placed because jupiter when well placed uh, gives spiritual inclination to the person the person wants to know about his karmas you know what what how can he improve his life you know uh, about the devas about bhagwan about you know what is the difference between matter spirit and all the standard spiritual inquiries and not only just inquire if jupiter is even more well placed then uh, people are actually uh, wanting to do spiritual practices also and if it is even more well placed then the person is actually doing spiritual practices quite quite uh, frequently and if it is very 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 well placed then the person is doing it every day very dedicatedly okay <clears throat> but if somebody says no i don't believe in all this you know this is all nonsense you know there is no controller up there you know like krishna says in the gita no he sarva loka maheshwaram right suridam sarva bhutanam gyatva mam shantim ruchati i am the most well wishing friend of everybody and uh, he says sarva loka maheshwaram i am the maheshwara i am the uh, controller of uh, all that exists you know sarva loka all the lokas you know not only this universe all the other universes okay <coughs> but if somebody says oh uh, what is this nonsense you know gita and all this I, i don't give a damn about it you know i'm just in my world you know i'm with netflix and so and so blah 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 
so uh, well yes then you know jupiter is very badly placed in somebody's chart okay irrespective of the astrological details <coughs> number two this is classic you are unable to hear good advice vinash kale viparit buddhi as the scriptures say <coughs> It's like uh, in English also they say, you know, everything has fallen in deaf ears. <laughs> so it's like that. Now, what does this mean? Good advice, you know, because sometimes we may advise somebody and if they don't listen to us, we may say, oh, my advice has fallen in deaf ears, you know. So this is not just uh, some subjective personal advice, you know. So I, it's not that a person who does not take advice from anybody, uh, is having a bad jupiter but when i say good advice it means that advice which is uh, which is there in the scriptures okay like uh, lord krishna whatever he advised in the bhagavad gita the rishis the shruti smritis uh, so uh, the ramayana the mahabharata shrimad bhagavatam spe specifically so if you cannot pay heed to uh, the words of god and the rishis and the scriptures then you know that uh, this person has a serious 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 problem with his or her jupiter because we see the example of ravana and duryodhana right so ravana and company rnc dnc duryodhana and company right so they got good advice from so many people always time to time you know, like duryodhana for example he always got the best advice from bhishma vidura Okay, Bhishma is one of the 12 Mahajans. Vidur is none other than Yamaraj, who is also one of the 12 Mahajans. You know, imagine among the 12 Mahajans, there are two Mahajans sitting in your courtyard and you you disregard their uh, opinions always and you uh, cannot hear good advice. Okay, so in general, if somebody is not able to hear good advice, uh, well, and it's specifically if they cannot hear good advice from the scriptures they do exactly what the scriptures advise not to do you know like they go into or they're going towards intoxication gambling uh, they're having illicit sex sexual relation yeah, they're indulging heavily into meat eating uh, then you know that that person's jupiter is destroyed but no worries uh, by doing spiritual practices you can always improve it okay and jupiter is also the karaka for the years okay the guru gives the spiritual knowledge in the years okay so that is why if unable if a person is unable to hear good advice uh, jupiter is very badly placed in the chart unfortunately all right number three is uh, it's a bit obvious you know like if a person believes that uh, like you know we go to number one if a person believes that matter is all that exists you know and adding to that he cannot hear good advice then what does he do he indulges in sinful habits okay so then what happens is the person believes uh, okay material pleasure is all in all and where do i get the most material pleasure you know when i'm indulging in illicit sex sexual relations uh, when i'm doing gambling you know quick money meat eating uh, pleasure for the tongue and intoxication you know you are high all the time right so if somebody even after a lot of hard work is unable to control his sinful habits then you know that this person has a very bad jupiter uh, of course again the good news is you can improve it if you work hard but the more the time you need the more uh, bad your jupiter is okay the worse it is okay this is this is uh, this is very interesting <clears throat> they delight in the suffering of others okay example the Kauravas you know, they always delighted when the Pandavas suffered I can give so many examples uh, but that will be very long you know, even we have uh, the the examples of so many other characters you know uh, in the Ramayana especially Ravana whenever he saw that somebody is suffering he would delight okay so they are unhappy to see others happy and happy to see others unhappy okay because they are so unhappy inside uh, because of which whenever they see somebody else is unhappy they kind of feel oh yeah yeah you know 
yeah i'll see his life is so bad you know my life is uh, may, maybe a bit better than him or it's equally worse like him but nonetheless he's also suffering you know so i'm not that bad my life is not that bad you know so so that kind of gives him some subtle happiness you know so therefore they will always delight whenever they see suffering of others and they will not only delight they will perpetuate and they will encourage and uh, give misery to others okay so Kauravas are perfect they like they are beyond perfect they completely exemplify this okay Hmm, this is the worst of the worst of the worst symptoms. I mean, this is this is number five, but it should actually be even before one. Okay, Guru Avagya disrespecting the Guru. Worst, worst, worst of all the offenses that you can commit in your spiritual life. Even if you disrespect God, you chant His name, you will be forgiven. But if you disrespect the Guru, oh my God! My God, that is like even even God cannot protect you if you do that because the Guru is extremely dear to God, as Lord Krishna says in the Gita, na patad vidhi prani pate na pari prashne na sevaya upadek chanti te gyanam gyani na stattva darshina. He says this that uh, render service and inquire humbly from a bona fide spiritual master because they have seen the truth. This is what Lord Krishna is saying to Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita. Of course, for Arjuna, he did not have time uh, <laughs> in the battlefield, middle of the battlefield to go and go into some ashram and uh, seek guidance from a guru because and for him it was even not required because Lord Krishna was personally there, right? <coughs> but in general, if somebody is, you know, whenever you see some uh, spiritual guru and you are like, you know, oh, this person is fake, you know, chor hai, chor, 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 dhongi hai, dhongi hai, dhongi ek tamraka. So now, of course, there are many uh, people who are like scamsters who pose as gurus, you know, that that's a reality of Kali Yuga. I'm not denying that. But if you... Uh, if you disrespect everybody just because you know some gurus have turned out to be so-called gurus have turned out to be like scamsters then well uh, your spiritual life is doomed because the guru takes the responsibility of the disciple so therefore therefore the guru is extremely dear to god to krishna himself and if you disrespect the guru then god is very displeased okay so Guru Avagya, it is the worst thing that you can do, okay, not only for your spiritual, but even for your material life, you know, all your piety, your good deeds, everything is finished the moment you disrespect your Guru. And then the question is, you know, what does it exactly mean to disrespect the, the Guru? Well, uh, it's like generically disrespecting somebody, you know. Uh, sometimes I see uh, they will people will invite the guru to their home and you know they will not let the guru speak you know they will blabber uh, their their own nonsense crap uh, useless uh, piece of junk which they keep doing always you know oh I have done this I have done that you know humne to ye kar diya, wo kar diya. when you have when you have invited the guru then uh, maybe the best thing you can do is uh, just shut up and <laughs> hear from the guru right <laughs> otherwise you could have invited some friend if you if you have invited uh, a spiritual personality to your house then please uh, maybe stay quiet and learn to listen right at least pretend to even if you can't okay or sometimes people uh, they will argue you know uh, no 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 aisa nahi hai aap, aap jo bol hai, hai, nahi hai, aisa nahi hai, waisa hai. Uh, what you are saying is not correct this is there that's how you know blah 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 now of course you can ask a thousand million questions to your gurus nothing wrong with it absolutely nothing wrong with asking questions but they should be done in a mood of humility and in a mood of surrender okay if you do not do that well uh, then there is destruction there is going to be uh, it's like a destruction of your entire spiritual credits okay and also uh, yeah sometimes you see your guru or some very elevated personality you give unwanted suggestions you know you correct them or you say yeah it is uh, according to me you should do like this okay that 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 is also very disrespectful so uh, please be very respectful when you uh, are when you are interacting with your shiksha guru your diksha guru 
or any other guru also okay other, otherwise um, there is no uh, there is no escape from this okay and if somebody that you know is already doing this so then you know jupiter is very badly spoiled because jupiter is literally the guru in the chart okay okay number six unable to put faith in the scriptures and in the word of the rishis and sadhus okay this is similar to number one but number one is a bit in general okay uh, and number six is specifically the person believes there is some power behind uh, above you know there is something is there beyond matter but still uh, he cannot put faith in the scriptures you know he thinks oh these are some old books written by a bunch of jobless people you know and then uh, why should I, I i'm a smart young intelligent man right why should i read all this why should i understand uh, then uh, you know jupiter is very badly spoiled because jupiter represents the divine knowledge which is coming from god himself through the rishis and the sadhus as the bhagavatam says dharmam to sakshat bhagavat pranitam dharma is coming directly from bhagavan which is lord Sri krishna himself so otherwise uh, well anybody can write anything right and then they can say oh yeah i have written this that but that doesn't matter because um, ultimately dharma is that which comes from god himself number seven disinterested in spreading spiritual knowledge mm -hmm. <coughs> maybe somebody uh, does not uh, disregard presence of god is favorable towards you know uh, yeah accepting spiritual knowledge but that person does not do anything to spread spiritual knowledge okay he does not talk to anybody he uh, he does not interact he does not make spiritual practices an active part of his life he does not connect to a spiritual community at least in the weekends you know then you know jupiter is badly very badly spoiled because then the person just becomes like a superficial person you know who like uh, yeah anywhere you go you know in india you will see uh, not just in india in every city every country and every religion but i'm giving an example for india <coughs> there will be many people like you know millions of people will come go to the temples on uh, shivaratri janmashtami ganesh chaturthi then you know, durga puja kali puja lakshmi puja this puja that puja vishwakarma puja but they will do it very superficially and then the next day they are back you know they are back to their old habits you know old material life and then uh, then there is no transformation okay and even if they go to some spiritual community it is primarily for the free food which they get in the form of prasad okay so they may say oh we want prasad but it is just that you know oh, it's nice you know free food some free khichdi free suji halwa free kada prasad you are getting you know it's nice go and have it you know what's wrong in that yeah so of course nothing wrong in taking uh prasad if, even if you think it's like a free food or whatever you know it, it's good it's still good in the beginning at least you are taking it nonetheless but eventually you have to understand that this prasad is not just some free food uh, so called free vegetarian food but uh, it is something which is uh, offered to god and therefore it is very sacred you know god has personally accepted this and therefore it is it is uh, invested with all the spiritual potencies okay and eating this will benefit me and my consciousness okay so that is what you should understand but if there is somebody who is not doing this, just being very superficial, uh, well, then, you know, there is some problem with the Jupiter. <laughs> All right. Number eight, superficially follows religious principles without any personal transformation. So this is similar to number seven. <laughs> like, you know, your spiritual practices will reflect in... Uh, you becoming a better person you being very more respectful you being more kind uh, you being more conscious you being more vigilant you know with yourself and with others <coughs> so your spiritual practices will always reflect in some personal transformation in radical personal transformation okay because uh, you will see many times people when they start chanting some uh, a very powerful mantras you know they will automatically give up eating meat and drinking alcohol why because 
they are now able to see clearly that these are wrong habits you know we should not cultivate them so if people are doing religious practices but then they are doing nonsense in their own life you know like especially ravana's case you know he was uh, apparently somehow in india uh, or everywhere you know people uh, they boast about ravana you know especially ravana's fans they say oh ravana was such a great shiv bhakt you know great devotee of shiva you know no no greater devotee of shiva than ravana well what an excellent devotee of shiva right you you uh, worship shiva you do so many things but then you go and kidnap somebody's wife okay wow what a personal transformation okay so these are just uh, examples of people who would do religious practices superficially so ravana was religious but he was adharmic okay that is the difference between dharma and religion all right number 9 over skeptical and thinking very high of oneself i know everything i am the best this is somewhat related to a afflicted surya the sun also but yeah i mean uh, it's still uh, a very important trait of jupiter you know it's not bad to be skeptical but to be over skeptical of anything and everything you know somebody talks to you of something or like, ah i don't believe i don't agree i disagree i disagree so if what so if what but i think but according to me but 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 if you always saying but then uh, well maybe uh, jupiter is not very well placed because a good jupiter will give you very good flowing thought you know very uh, like uh, you you will be mature to see who is saying what and why they are saying that you know so if you are always um, shouting and like you know howling you know but if so but what if this happens you know so what if this happens that may happen you know so if you are overly critical of everything uh well then maybe jupiter is not the best <coughs> in the chart number 10 avoiding commitment in relationships rampant in 2023 right just have sex have fun and then push off open relationships right <coughs> i don't think i need to explain this bonus tip only speak but not listen this is the i i think this is the easiest shortcut that you can have you know whenever you are sitting with somebody they are always blabbering all the time they cannot listen to you anything you say they will change the topic and they will make it about themselves because guru is the karaka for the year so what happens when jupiter is badly placed it it will hinder your ability to hear anything what forget about good or bad things you know you can't hear anything basically you are like uh, only speaking the only thing you hear is yourself <laughs> that is why they say you know god has given one mouth and two ears you know so speak half and listen double okay this is this is what is the dictum basically but mostly people do the opposite you know they will only talk of them about themselves and then they are like you know least interested about others you know what is happening and then this translates to uh, you cannot listen to a guru you can't listen to the scriptures because if you cannot listen to any normal person how will you listen to the scriptures you know it's not possible all right okay ladies and gentlemen these are 11 indications uh, but they are not just enough and uh, if you know more then please write it down in the comments all right thank you very much for your patience if you like this video hit the thumbs up please and If you are new then please subscribe to the channel and if you want a consultation you can always go to my website down in the description section God is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him Jai Shri Ram